over the weekend I've had a chance to get a good start on the, um, on the side panels for the caravan. The construction of this van will be a little bit different to, uh, to the mass produced vans that are available on the market and probably a little bit unconventional, <coughs> but um, I like to do things a little bit differently. So what will be happening from the chassis up, from around about 800 millimetres up, there will be uh, some an aluminium framework going right around the perimeter of the van with some 1.6 or 2 mil aluminium checker plate on the sides. Um, on top of that, there will be some fiberglass honeycomb composite panels that will basically make the side walls, the end walls and the roof. Um, the honeycomb composite material will basically give me a structure that um, has no internal framing, it's light, um, we've got a nice finished product inside and outside, we've got a, a shiny fiberglass on the inside and also on the outside and uh, there's no other framing required. So I'll show you what I've been doing. First thing I did over the weekend was lay out the fiberglass panels on top of the chassis. This is actually the fiberglass material here. It comes in a roll, it's got a protective plastic cover on it and it's really very nice uniform um, product. So I've drawn out the sides of the caravan. So this is only the top 1200 millimetres of, of side. Um, got Western Red Cedar packing around where the door is. There's some, fly, uh, some uh, plywood packing where the, um, where the awning will attach to. And uh, on the bottom edge here, I've glued on some aluminium that will then uh, rivet or I'll screw it to the aluminium frame, screw and glue to the aluminium framework that's on the chassis. So this is the honeycomb panel. It's, um, it's been glued down with vinyl ester. All of the, uh, the cedar and the aluminium has been glued to the edge of the panels with, um, with epoxy resin and then a vinyl ester um, resin to glue down the honeycomb. Over the other side, you can see I've glued that panel down as well. Um, there's a piece of chipboard on there that probably weighs around about 30 kilos with um, those drums have each got about 20 kilos of water in them just to give some weight to uh, keep it nice and flat and make sure there are no waters in the laminate. And having a look at this this morning, it's gone down very, very nicely. Uh, I could vacuum bag it down, but I don't have the facilities to vacuum bag, so uh, this, for a one-off project, this is going to work quite nicely by the look of it. Now, this is the honeycomb section that, or the honeycomb panel that we'll be using. I've removed a little bit of the, um, of the fabric from the surface that stops the resin running through and filling up the, um, uh, the core. But if you look there, you can see it's just a hollow PVC honeycomb section. And uh, it's incredibly light, but also very strong and very good in compression. I've made up a, a sample piece during the week with the fiberglass, um, just with some, some 10 millimetre thick honeycomb. And I've given it a really good test. I've bashed it with a hammer and I've um, drilled and screwed into some other pieces and it's going to work very nicely. So for the rest of the week, that's what I'll be doing. I'll be finishing these sidewalls and um, then next weekend, I'll, hopefully I'll be able to get onto the roof panel. I'll, um, I'll make another video later in the week once uh, the, these sidewalls are finished. I'll weigh them and, um, and uh, show you what the finished product looks like. Well, that's enough for today, so I'll best get to work. So that's over and out for me.